The Inyo one was the roughest night because the winds were like 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, and I'm up all night working and then I sleep in the morning. You enter this different world where it's almost like an abyss where the wind is so loud and I'm so focused on this one thing and it's pitch black everywhere, just my headlamp. It's, it's kind of like being at a concert for a long time, just the effect on your ears, but then also just like total blackout. That one was for sure the wildest. I had gotten to a certain subject matter of using nature as a site-specific indicator and an index to a place and then taking away the elements of a camera or a printer or the darkroom ended up using the sun and then the rain as the tools essentially and that's something that everyone can connect to. Basically I find a swath of land and move the plants or rocks from that area, put down the canvas, and put the plants back on it, and do that kind of all during the day. And as the sun goes down, I spread the pigment over the landscape arrangement. As the dew sets, it catalyzes the dry pigment. I take that off and do it all over again. And so you have this kind of depth of field with the sharper images that were done second. The whole layout was designed for the state of California. Here at the top of the stairs is the most northern part, which would include the most northern forests, like Six Rivers, Klamath. It cuts over there to Modoc, and then moving down into the Sierras, and then onto the main wall would be Los Padres, San Bernardino, Angeles, and Cleveland. They are, it's definitely legible, which is really cool. When you see it all together, you do get a feeling of diversity. The number of national forests in California is one of the things that drew me here and one of its like major assets. And so now as they're being less and less protected and burning, it's a way of actually not just representing them but kind of preserving them.